There he is. There he is. Let's go see what he's doing. <laughs> Get out of the trees. Uh, hey, this is Brad Sharpens Best.com. Uh, down here in Denver, getting ready to do a tanner show this weekend. So out at the uh, Aurora County Fairgrounds. Aurora County Fairgrounds. Okay, tanner gun show. And um, so right now, hey buddy, how you doing? Uh, we got a old bayonet, probably World War II. And uh, it's kind of thick, it's not been uh, taken care of. Well, bayonets really aren't supposed to be super sharp. So the guy asked if I could put an edge on it, and I uh, was looking for my uh, hard disk for my sander, or grinder, four inch grinder. And I'm gonna see if this is aggressive enough. It's actually a sander uh, for wood, and, or metal, or whatever you wanna do with it. But let's find out if I can actually put a bit of an edge on there with my sander. So here we go, watch the dogs run. Hey, little pup. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, get away. Mm. Go on. Go on. <laughs> uh, well, if you'll stay here, that'd be okay, probably. Actually, it's very aggressive. Tell me what you're feeling right now. Well, I would rather have the uh, little hard disk. Um, this one is odd shaped on the, on the bottom, so it's just a little bit hard to really manipulate it right. But I'm gonna work on it and see. Uh, it would definitely take the metal off, and you can see the sparks flying. If you were gonna make a knife out of a piece of tin, just like that. I'm gonna get it down far enough that I can use my uh, work chart belt sander on it. Actually, I'm really actually pretty good at doing this, so when I get done with it, it's actually gonna look pretty good. What, what are you looking at? What? That? Oh my god, <laughs> You just sanded yourself? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be my first choice as a way to do this. We don't have to yell. We don't have to yell anymore. No, we don't. <laughs> no. Oh. Over here. Oh my God. <laughs> it's starting. It's just flat. Took it right off. All right. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to crank it back up and do right in here a little bit more. This is actually starting to get sharp, but this out right here is not. So I'm going to hit it just a little bit more.
Okay, that's good enough for that one. Uh, if you if you want to hook them together, we can do another video. I'll go grab my uh, work sharp belt sander, or um, we'll make another video. However you want to do it, but I would finish this with my work sharp belt sander. Let's let's well I'll edit it. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna run out and I'm gonna grab. <laughs> Where's your short one, dog? But I had to go get my work sharp belt sander. And I'm going to finish that knife off uh, with it. It's actually a bayonet, World War II bayonet. All right, so let's go out here back to the uh, sharpening area. Hey, buddy. And, uh, can't see which one's the big one. I guess that one is. All right, so there. And yeah, I'd probably use the top. All right, so let's see. I like the belts with no guards and no uh, angle, preset angle, degree uh, that you're supposed to follow. I determined that myself by how I tip the knife over. And come right in here like that. dragon grinder with it all right so now i tip it over and do the other side and i can lock the trigger and uh, set the speed myself i can lock it on the speed i can lock the tr uh, trigger so i can use both hands on the knife sometimes i do that not always all right like that. And I told the guy that it, it was going to cost $10 to clean it up, put an edge on it. So yes, I am actually sitting here making money. And videoing it. So we do this. And that real light. That actually bites. Uh, so, it's kind of thick, but let's check, get our Denver Magazine pieces. And we'll see uh, what we got now on a thick bayonet. I may have to work on it a little more, but that's actually pretty, wow. that's actually pretty smooth. Might just need a sharpened best touch-up. Yeah, now that Sweet. might be. Okay, so we'll do this. And we use the red long handle. I haven't used it in a while. So I just set them down. Bye bye, paper. Rumor says that uh, red long handles may be in the future, says my eight ball. Well, you know, there's a possibility. Um, uh, yeah, there's some red and some W and some B coming. So. Red W and B. Red W B. Red W B. Red W B. Alright, so just a little bit. Right out here I can see I didn't quite get it as thin as I would like it to be. Just like that. But I'll guarantee you, the guy's gonna love it because it had no edge on it before. You know what era bayonet that is? Uh I'm sure it's uh World War Two. Uh it's actually got to be quite a bayonet i can't read okay this is right side up so i'm gonna hold still and you zoom in on the numbers and then there's also another stamp on it's, the other side wow that's a, i don't know if that's textured it definitely is a if you guys know if you figure this out uh if you look it up now go ahead and catch this side all right it it 
it's possible. That's a shield. That it. That it's a World War One. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's it's quite possible, and then that's how it attaches onto the gun. You know, and that through here, and the barrel comes out here, so you can actually shoot over the top of your bayonet. All right. So let's see that paper blue over there. So I'll just get <laughs> another one. There's lots of pieces in here. Yeah, we just use a little piece. <laughs> Ross goes hiding under the chair. For a bayonet, that's plenty sharp. Well, it's going in and out easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's uh, just a, oh, that bites. That really, actually really bites. That is plenty sharp. This is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. Take care.